will show him. Coward, he calls me. That's the last time I'll ever invite a wraith into my exclusive company. Let me tell you. <laughs> Coward. Ha! Prissy. <laughs> Foppish. Squishy. You glass cannon. I'll show you a squishy glass cannon, you ill-mannered zombie breath. You swaggering fashion catastrophe. Uncouth, pasty-skinned vampire. <sighs> Never trust wraiths. Wraiths and cats. They'll always leave you dragging your designer boots through the wilderness. <sighs> Just a week on the road and abandoned again. Yo! Hey, 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 no need for screaming, huh? The bucket amplifies your voice. It's even louder in here. What, what are you? I'm an Afridi head in a bucket. What are you? Uh, what? I'm an Afridi in a bucket without a body. Say, say, man, I'm kind of starving here. You don't happen to be packing any lunch, do you? How about something, you know, spicy? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, You're in a freedy? Yeah, in, 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 a, in a bucket. We've been through this. God, how about some you know, hot peppers? Just straight hot peppers. You know, just chip chipotle. You got any chipotle in there? I just told you, I'm just joining for some, with some zing. Uh, some pep. Yeah. Where's Gary? Gary knows what I like. Gary! 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 Gary, where are you, Gary? How, how did you get here? Why don't you have a body? No. Oh, those are some complicated questions, my friend. And you know what? Thank you for asking them. It's terrific to finally meet someone interested in carrying on a decent conversation. You know, actually listening to my needs for once. <laughs> Addressing me as an intelligent creature with thoughts and feelings rather than some glorified battery. <sighs> Gary never wanted to talk to me. He just wasn't interested. You know, he's always muttering on about his proud of kobolds and never once thanking me for undivided attention that I gave to him. You know, I'm just, I'm a giver, you know. <laughs> now, now, now he's met all his new friends, you know, talk to them. The bard, the blue Amazon, or the barbarian elf. Barbarian elf? <laughs> There's a combo that shouldn't exist, right? Am I right, guys? Huh? Who's with me? Huh? All right. Oh, yeah, right, the, the, the story. <laughs> yes, the story. How did I get here? Well, let me take you back to a time. Time not to, but I think it was last Wednesday, specifically. Back in the city of bronze, where I was merely a, a young spark. Sparky, they called me, actually. Um, not very, they weren't very creative. Uh, so, just sort of called things as they saw it, I guess. <laughs> it looks like someone was drawing off your power with some sort of crude wiring. <laughs> Why? Wait, barbarian elf. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, a barbarian elf. A lady. Disappointingly tiny. How can a barbarian elf not be disappointingly tiny? Edda. <laughs> And the barbarian elf did this to you. Oh, no, no, no. She, she didn't do this, but she was here. Oh, yes. They hooked me up to a, a dead squirrel, you know. Then off they went. Bam. Dead squirrel? Yeah, yep. Dead as dead squirrels get. Yeah, yeah, you really like to ask questions after I've already explained things, huh? God, I'm hungry. I can go for a dead squirrel right now. But you know what? You're a battery made out of an Afridi head. That's got to be worth something. Uh, what, what, where are we going? Uh, down. <laughs> I know someone who can tell me all about you. Uh, uh, well, can we stop for burritos or something? Yeah, uh, Vindaloo, Charma. Does that eat anything, really? Is there a Mickey D's on the way home? Oh.
No one hides from me on my ship. Yes, ma'am. They've locked themselves in the backup backup storage locker on deck number two. Well, what have we got in there? Your mom's nativity set, uh, some spare parts, medical tubing that's already been used, and red shirts. Send Dave and Kachansky in after them. We need that door open. Okay, they've got them pinned, but they're unwilling to approach the door to open it. What? One of them shoots laser beams out of her hands. I don't blame them. Well, well gas them. Gas them out. We don't have gas. Use the deflector dish. They're inside the ship. That doesn't work, Captain. Compensate the Heisenbergers, damn it! Okay, uh, we're not a battleship. We're a garbage scow. <laughs> Granny? Hello, Captain. Granny, you want to tell me how that band of miscreant stowaways got on board my ship? I don't know. It's fascinating. They weren't here, and then they were here. I felt some energy, and some flashing, and noises, and radiation, and a squirrely feeling in my starboard conduits, and there they were. That's all you can give me. A squirrely feeling in your conduits. God damn it. I should have had you replaced with the Asaki model. Oh, sounds like blood sugar's running low. I know how you get when you're hungry. <laughs> Ensign Kalamari? Mm -hmm. I want to know everything about them. Hook into Granny's sensors. Yeah, I need eyes in there. Granny, uh, talk to them. Find out what they want. Ma'am, we don't have sensors in the backup, backup storage locker. Make it happen, Calamari. Yes, ma'am. And Calamari? Yes? Make me a sandwich. Same thing as last time? Ah, uh, you know what? I like the hot mustard. from the rest of the group like that. I'm just scouting ahead. Right. You know, you have a real talent for disappearing at the precise moment things start to get hairy. It's not a talent. It's a skill. I'm developing it. If you want to be a rogue, you should develop it too. See? That's one. Okay. This is nuts. Martin is not here. And those pew pew explodey energy fire things beat Battle Axe. We don't know he's not here. Yes, we do. This isn't purgatory, right, Fernando? I don't get why we keep looking when the squirrel brings us to a place that isn't purgatory. No, it's not that simple. He could be anywhere. We have no idea what Akosa did to him. We can't just leave without making sure. It's been months. Months for us. Time travels differently on every plane. We have no idea how long he's been lost and alone. Okay, well, we can't really be sure, right? I mean, we can't search the whole plane. We have this, right? This should bring us to him. Why? Because I said so? I'm the one who came up with that plan, and I ain't a wizard, am I? We're not supposed to answer that, right? No! It was re... That thing where there's no answer! Rhetorical. Yes. Is it time to go now? I think it's time to go now. Fernando, where are we? Can you tell what this is? Well, my bardic senses tell me that we're in some sort of underground cavern. Though the rock seems strange. Hello, friends. Hello, Wall. I am the interactive personality for Transport Carrier NCC-75E. You can call me Granny if you like. I'm Fernando Inigo Vespa of the Harry Fe Fernando, Fe stop it! I've heard of these things. Sometimes mages make their intelligent light with faces. It's creepy. Magic item. Uh, I'm looking for a uh, power source. 
something with enough juice as a fifth level fireball. You know where I can find one? My name isn't Magic Item. It's Granny. I said you could call me that. Anyway, I'm here to negotiate with you. Negotiate? Great. I love negotiating. The captain of NCC-75E would like to know your demands. She's really not all that happy that you're hiding in her backup backup storage locker, and even less happy that you're on her ship at all. But she's going to feel better once she has her sandwich. Ship? Like, on a lake? No! We're currently on a long-term deep space voyage carrying cargo from Garak 6. Deep space? System We're sailing through the ether! Oh, we're a ship that travels through the ether? Oh. Um, what kind of uh, cargo do you have on this ship? Platinum? Jewels? Gems? Magic items? <laughs> oh, who cares? Never mind. Let's sell the ship! We're gonna be rich for now. <laughs> Granny, we're looking for a druid. Uh, a human. Uh, dresses in green, travels with a badger, strikingly handsome in an emo, hipster sort of way. Goes by the name of Martin. Is he here? On NCC-75E? No, I'm afraid he isn't. But we do have an almost handsome engineer, though, if you're interested. No, thank you. Okay. Not here. Let's go. I want to go somewhere with stuff I can smash. I want to sell the ether ship. We could be pirates. And who's going to face off against the people out there with the fiery wands? You? Let's just find something to charge up the squirrel with and let's get out of here. Invaders! This is the captain. Open this door. Don't open it. You've got nowhere to go. Come out calmly and I will be reasonable. You know... That sounds a lot like oh, that's it! We're coming in! What in holy hell are you? Hi. Calamari, have we had another transporter malfunction you haven't told me about? No, 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 Captain. That's a... Uh... Well, actually, yeah, they happen all the time. Dave's a girl again, but uh, this is different. Never, never mind. Talk fast, pretty. Well, um... I'm actually, uh, you. Well, not really you. More like a copy of you from another place. Well, more like another realm of existence which lies concurrent with yours. And you know what? I really like your outfits. Very economy chic. <laughs> uh, what my friend means to say is that she's actually just an illusion. Not everything is as it seems. In fact, you're dreaming right now. What? No, I'm not. Ooh, dreaming. Ooh. Hey, Captain, you were very grumpy earlier. It's quite possible you took a nap. Where's Gary? That's enough. Take them to the brig. Oh, it's a trap. Go, Gary. Are you sure we can't keep the ship? I really want to keep the ship. Gary, get us out of here and I will owe you a chip. I'm gonna hold you to that. 